The ferret is a playful animal that is very entertaining to watch. They are smart and curious creatures and thus require training and lots of interaction with people. Whether you are interested in taking in a ferret as a pet or you just can't get enough ferret watching in your life, you've come to the right place. Today, we look at 10 fun ferret facts. Number one, origin. Ferrets come from the same family as badgers, wolverines, and weasels. The distant ancestry of the domestic ferret is somewhat of a mystery, although they are very closely related to the European polecat. There are often misconceptions about whether ferrets are domesticated, and the short answer is, yes, they are. They have been domesticated for probably 2,000 years or more and were brought to America as pets as long as 300 years ago. Number two, terminology. A group of ferrets is called a business of ferrets. Sounds like a pretty important group. Female ferrets are called jills and males are called hobs. Baby ferrets are called kits. In North America, spayed females are sometimes called sprites and neutered males are called jibs. A pretty confusing business, if you ask me. Number three, behavior. Ferrets are not totally nocturnal, but they do tend to sleep for a large part of the day. They are most active at dawn and dusk. However, they usually adapt their sleeping and active times to fit the schedules of their owners. Ideally, ferrets should be kept in a pair or a small group. Same-sex litter mates or neutered males and females can be kept happily together. The name ferret is derived from the Latin furonum, which means thief. Ferret owners can tell you that this is a well-deserved name, as they will happily steal anything they can get their paws on only to hide it in their house. Hey, while you're here, if you love seeing new videos about your favorite pets and animals, then make sure to like this video and subscribe. Okay, now where were we? Oh yeah. Number four, housing the ferret. Ferrets sleep a lot, usually about 18 hours a day. They are typically active at dawn and dusk, but most ferrets will adapt their sleeping and active times to fit their owner's schedule. Since they sleep for long stretches during the day, most ferrets don't mind spending time in a cage. If you are considering getting a ferret for a pet, you should know that it's recommended for ferrets to spend minimum of four hours outside the cage every day. This means you'll need to ferret-proof your house. These creatures are smart and curious and can fit through small spaces you might have overlooked. Make sure there are always toys present for your ferret to play with and chew on. Keep soft bedding on the floor of your ferret's enclosure. Make sure it has a sturdy double secured latch on the door because these animals are smart enough to figure out how to open latches. Number five, food and water. Ferrets are known as obligate carnivores and must eat constantly. Since they can't absorb nutrients from plants, these animals need a diet of animal proteins and fat. Meat, eggs, and cold water fish are excellent foods for ferrets. Grains are not recommended for ferrets since they are difficult for the animals to digest. A ferret's high metabolism means it needs to eat about every three to four hours. Since food passes through a ferret's digestive system relatively quickly, food must be readily available at all times. Unlike many animals, they rarely overeat. Ferrets always need to have access to fresh, clean, non-chlorinated water as well. Number six, odor. Ferrets have a reputation for being smelly pets. It is true that they have a distinctive musky odor, but it is neither offensive nor overpowering. This smell comes from glands in their skin and is present whether the ferret is descented or not. 
You see, in North America, ferrets are usually descented. This procedure involves the removal of the scent glands. Their scent glands are similar to that of a skunk, and they will release, not spray, the contents if threatened. However, ferret scent gland secretions are milder than those of skunks, and the smell dissipates quickly and washes away easily. Number seven, sounds. When a ferret smiles, it's called duking. It even sounds closely like a chuckle. A ferret starts duking when it feels playful. If your ferret is around you and it starts duking, that means now it's playtime. Duking can be easily understood by the ear if it is compared to the clucking of a chicken. A ferret usually jumps up and down and acts really excited while duking as well. So maybe the gesture in itself is pretty self-explaining as well. Ferrets hiss to mostly show anger, but they also tend to express fear with it. But researchers confirmed that ferrets tend to also hiss when they are playfully fighting with their mates as well. Ferrets tend to squeal when they get excited. It just means that they want some attention and they want to be played with. Some ferrets squeal even in their sleep. Research states that ferrets tend to dream like a human in their sleep. Number eight, baby ferrets. Ferret babies are called kits. Kits usually weigh six to 14 grams at birth and are about two to two and a half inches long, which is about the size of an adult human's little finger. They are born with soft baby fuzz as fur. As they get older, their hair gets longer and colors more defined. Born blind, deaf, and without teeth, it takes about three weeks before baby ferrets start to develop their baby teeth. Eyes and ears do not open until about four to five weeks old. For the first three weeks, kits nurse every couple of hours and sleep. Playing begins at about four to five weeks of age. It starts with kits rolling around, attacking, and just being ferrets in slow motion. As they get older and steadier on their feet, they play for a period and then fall asleep so soundly that they seem dead, which can be a little scary. Number nine, bath time. Ferrets are clean animals, and most of the time they are grooming. They are similar to cats when it comes to grooming. But besides grooming and washing their face and paws, ferrets do need the occasional bath. Because bathing tends to dry out the skin and coat, ferrets should, at most, get one bath per month. In fact, some owners choose to give their ferrets three baths per year. Some ferrets take quite naturally to water, while others are very reluctant to take a bath. And number 10, Playtime. Ferrets are incredibly smart and social pets that love to play more than just about anything. To play with your ferret, you can use toys as hide and seek items, to play tug of war, or to give them something to chase. You can also make tunneling and burrowing areas for your ferret to explore, or set up digging areas to get their paws dirty. Just remember to ferret-proof your home before taking your pet out for playtime. Ferrets can even understand some simple games that humans play. For instance, most ferrets easily understand the concept of tag, and it can be a more involving way of chasing it. Run up to your ferret, touch it gently, then run away quickly. It will get the hint after a couple of minutes and come running after you. It might even jump on you to tag you. As you can see, ferrets are not only cute, they are loaded with personality and make fantastic pets. If you make sure to do your research beforehand, you can have a fun and fulfilling experience caring for your ferret. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button and subscribe to this channel for more pets and animals.